I'm Director of Technology at the British Heart Foundation and I face into the Commercial and Retail Directorate, so helping them to make more money and save more lives. So what brought me to the customer day today um, was um, an interest in understanding who currently works with HSO because it's always it's always changing, always evolving. Um, hear what's new, um, what can I take advantage of, uh, what knowledge can I gain, uh, what can I take back. Um, fundamental is really how do we support 700 shops, um, 19,000 volunteers, 3,500 paid members of the staff on a day-to-day -day basis using a, you know, AX, pause, back of house, reporting, you know, there's some epic problems in there that need to do, needed to be solved. Uh, and HSO um, was selected as our partner to help us on that journey. Number one, we wanted a trusted partner. So we went to our friends at Microsoft. We've got a very close relationship with Microsoft. So we wanted to know who would they recommend? Who, who should they point us at? Because it's very easy to do a tender uh, and bring people that you know into tender to do this sort of work. But actually we wanted to start with who is in the marketplace? Who, who do Microsoft work, work with? Who is in that golden quarter? Um, and you know, as we as we as we see on the slides today, the um, the amount of um, you know what their relationship Microsoft have with um, HSO, it's very credible. The future for the British Heart Foundation um, is around, yeah, obviously making sure that nobody dies unnecessarily from heart disease. Number one, that's the mission. Um, but in order to do that, we need to grow more income. Uh, and as every retailer on the high street is now facing into is what does that now look like? What does the high street look like? What does a post pandemic um, shopping experience look like? And it's very different. For me, it's always about the human relationships. I trust that um, they've got the right technologists and the right technology to in order to deliver and solve the problem. So I've never been about the technology. It's always been about the relationship and the people.